This video consists of energy band gap in a thermistor. Consider a single atom of semiconductor material like this. Here we show only its outermost orbit with four electrons. Electrons in a free atom have discrete energy level. But when atom are brought together to form molecule and solids, the electronic energy levels became almost continuous over certain regions. Now these electrons are no longer bound to a single atom like this, but rather becomes communal property of the whole solid and they are able to move throughout the solid. For these electrons, the energy states remains discrete, but the states groups into bands, which is represented here in a one-dimensional energy diagram. Within a band, this one and this one, the energies of the states are extremely close together, but between bands means this region there is a comparatively large energy separation which is referred to as an energy gap. The figure is showing range of energies the electrons are allowed to have and the range of energies in between the allowed bands where electrons are forbidden to exist. This allowed band is known as valence band and this allowed band is known as conduction band. And in between these two allowed bands is known as forbidden band or energy band gap. In semiconductors, the energy gap is of the order of one electron volt. For example, for germanium it is 0.7 electron volt and for silicon it is 1.1 electron volt. At 0 degree Kelvin temperature, valence band is full and conduction band is empty. Absorption of energy by semiconductor can boost electrons from the valence band to the conduction band if the energy is at least as large as the energy gap. As the temperature rises, some electrons get enough thermal energy to jump into the conduction band. Electrons in the conduction band are able to move from atom to atom and so contribute to electric current. An unoccupied state in the valence band is called a hole. Electrons in the valence band can contribute to electric current by moving to fill the hole states. When this happens, it is easy to visualize a hole moving opposite to the direction of an electron moves in the valence band and so this is referred to as hole conduction. If the number of unoccupied states in the valence bands equal the number of occupied states in the conduction band, the semiconductor is said to be intrinsic. For such a material, it makes sense that the higher the temperature, the more electron in the conduction band and holes in the valence band are available to move through the solid. Therefore, the electrical resistance would fall as the temperature of the semiconductor rises. The relationship turn out to be exponential as like this. The relation between resistance and temperature is given by Rt equal to R0 into e raised to power Ez upon twice Kt. Here Rt with the resistance at T Kelvin temperature R0 with the resistance at 0 Kelvin temperature, e.g. with the energy band gap, that is energy difference between the filled valence band and empty conduction band of the particular semiconductors, and K with the Boltzmann's constant. Thus, measurement of the resistance of a thermistor as a function of temperature provides data from which the energy band gap can be determined.